So we're going to tie a wet fly, and this is a, a partridge in orange, and I'm going to tie this on a size 12 wet fly hook. And the thread that I'm going to be using is a 70 fire orange. I'll just get that started on the hook shank and tear off the excess and then start to make my my thread body. I'm going to bring this down just to the last straight part of the hook. And that's going to be as far down as I want to go. I'm going to build a slight taper into this with the, the thread. If you notice, I'm going to stop short of where I stopped the time before on each pass down. And when I'm satisfied with where it is, I'll take one more pass down and back up and try to fill in any of those high or low sections. And that looks pretty good there. So then I'm going to dub in the thorax. And anytime I dub a natural hair's mask, I use some dubbing wax just so that all the fibers stick to it. And I'll pull off some dubbing material here. Just get that started on the line. And then I'll just begin to wrap in that thorax. Don't need a real big thorax on this. The way I'm going to put just a little bit more on here. Another couple of pinches. That looks about right. So once I have my, my thorax dubbed in, now I'm going to tie in my uh, wet or my soft hackle and for this I like to use the hen soft hackle you can use whatever is your favorite I'm going to pull out a hair here or a feather here and just start to clean that up take out all these fibers on the bottom and start to measure out how much I need when I'm happy with it. Then I'll take and pull that down. I'm going to tie this in by the tip. So I'm just separating the tip from the rest. And I can tie that into the front of the hook. And then come back through and clean that off. And now you can kind of eyeball and see here too heavy or too light. I'm going to take a couple of these fibers off. And then I want to lay these back on each other. And to do that I just kind of wet them and then start to take my wraps. And with each wraps I'm going to pull them back so they lay straight back. And one more wrap should do it. Bring that stem up to the top and tie that in. Then I'm going to fold the stem back and I'm going to tie that in completely just so it's nice and secure. And then I can pull that off. And now I can start to begin building that thread head. I pretty, put a pretty good sized head on, on my wet flies. Alright, whip finish. that and that's all there is to it. Now with my wet flies I also like to use head cement so I'm just going to put a dab of head cement on here just to bind everything together. Make sure I've cleaned out my eye 
and you're set. This is a, a partridge and orange. Mm -hmm.